Hello, class. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Hello. All right. Hi. How are you? Fine, teacher. Thank you. How about you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Oh, great. All right. I couldn't join yesterday, teacher. Yes, no worries. Yes. I left. I left late my work yesterday. Oh, well, that's good. I mean, it's work. Work is good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Dun, dun, dun. Let's wait for more people. How is your son, teacher? Oh man, he he's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> As always. Yeah, I'm happy because I bought him. Le compré, I bought him a go kart. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you know it's a go kart? Yes, go kart. Those little cars. Mm -hmm. And I was so happy today. But, oh. may, but maybe I was happier than my son. <laughs> I he, know. What he, does this mean? <laughs> yeah, the, the thing is, uh, he liked it, but I think I, I liked it more. Okay. Hello, class. Hello, class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Bueno, antes que se metan todos, una pregunta, Marielos, ya es, es, es difícil o fácil hacer eso en internet, lo del do we need. Ah, 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 no lo he hecho todavía hoy oh. más tarde lo voy a hacer no he averiguado pero oh. según parece escuché es algo fácil voy a verlo el procedimiento ahora qué es ¿Sabe? eso qué es lo que eso hace o sea están eh, dejando el el nip creo que es el, ah no el dui creo que es el que va a quedar verdad Sí, el DUI. Ajá, el DUI. Entonces, ahora para cualquier trámite ya solo se va a requerir el DUI. No, ya pero no sé. el DUI trae el número de NIT, ¿verdad? No, no lo trae. Ah, ya no. ¿Es de... No, ya no. O sea que... La es... licencia es la que tiene. Sí, la licencia. O sea que uh -huh. va a desaparecer el número de NIT y hoy el número de NIT va a ser el DUI. El DUI, sí, okay. eso entiendo. Uh -huh. Ok, good. Está bueno. Otra cosa que nunca entendí, yo nunca entendí por qué el, el NIT lo hacían tan grande que no cabía en cartera en, de billeteras. Sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. no, aparte, con, con el NIT es fácil identificar la fecha de nacimiento, o sea, le da información a uno. ¿verdad? Exacto. No, 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 no. Es más, mientras que el DUI es bien al azar el número que le toque a uno. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How, lo, how old is your kid, your son? My son is five. five. Okay. Is but, your only yes, he's, yes, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, yes. I hope Yes. Yes. No, he's my only, he's my baby. Ah, uh, yeah. I have four kids. You have my youngest, four. four. My youngest is 14. The youngest. Yes. Wow. Four children. Good. Mm -hmm. No, my I only like me. Oh, really? Yeah. Four. Do you, uh, do you have uh, boys, girls, or oh, yes? Two, two boys and two girls oh, okay i have one boy and three girls ah okay okay mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. excuse me teacher <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Four <laughs> children. Wow. I, I am reading that um, in El Salvador now. Um, the, the people don't like to have children anymore. Mm. It's really reducing. Yes, it is. But and it's good. I think it's good. Yeah. Because um, <clears throat> I think one, two children is good. But imagine having six, five, or six children. Yeah. No. I have a friend. I forget what religion he is. But he has, I think, 11 children. He must be Mormon. <laughs> no, no, he's not Mormon. 11. I think they're like Opus Dei or something. Uh, yeah. But, or, or Catecumenos. Yeah, I think them. Uh -huh. But it's crazy. They, and they tell me that they, the relations are only to have sex is only to have children. So, yeah, Catholic, uh, Opus Dei. Yeah, Opus Dei, right? <laughs> yes, Opus Dei. Uh, Man, yeah. uh, that is crazy. <laughs> okay, one moment, please. Okay, good. So, okay, class, let's start. So remember yesterday we were doing present perfect, present perfect continuous, simple past. Yes? Hey, who has seen, who, who watches Stranger Things? Me, teacher. Okay, good. Anybody here watch Stranger Things? No, I don't. Why not? It's a very good show. Sabe que no sabía, Nuri. Remember that old man that has his eyes? The old crazy man? Mm. The father. Remember the old man that they took his I'm eyes out? Remember the old uh -huh. man? Yes. Do, do you know who yes. he is? He no. is he is Freddy Krueger, mm -hmm. the act the actor that impersonated Freddy Krueger. Uh, the same person. Yeah, I didn't know that. I, I was wow. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, I love I love that show. It's a very very good. Okay, let's go. Yesterday, yes. Yes. Yesterday I saw the. Well, chapter three. You haven't finished all of them? No, the chapter three, yesterday. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Okay, good. O sea, que no se ha muerto el niño aún. That's a... Spoiler. Ah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. No, no kid. Ha no, no kid has died. And I'm no. thinking, what children? What children? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start. Let me see. What is that sound? Yes, I can hear that sound. I don't yeah, know what it is. Yeah, me too. Do you hear it? Yes. Okay, stop. Sir. Stop, sir. It's like, it's like bad. It's like bad interference. Mirna? 
Is that, uh, no, Mirna is not because she's in mute. Yeah. What teacher? No, 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 I, no, it's not you. No, I heard the sound. Okay, so let's start. So, uh, here, let me. Okay, so we are here. Oh my God, good. I thought I was. Okay, in this class, participants will learn practice using vocabulary to talk about news, events, and stories. So it's in the news. Let's hear about this. Do you watch news on TV? Do you read the newspaper? The following words will help you speak a little bit better when talking about news. How would you define each of these news events? Epidemic, famine, hijacking, kidnapping, natural disaster, political crisis, rebellion, recession, robbery, scandal. Discuss the questions, ask follow-up questions and add extra information. How closely do you follow the news? What kind of stories interest you? What do you think was the most important news story in the last few years? Do you think stories about sports or celebrities count as real news? In class, let's talk about a relevant news you watched or heard today. Okay, so let's see what's in the news. Personally, I don't follow the news because... Um, Obviously, I don't. I don't read El Faro or La Prensa because, or El Diario de Hoy because it's the same thing. But I don't read El Salvador. No, ¿cuál es el Diario El Salvador? Because that's the other thing. That's like the president did this. The president, thanks to the president, the president. The, I think. I think that newspaper should be called Bukele, <laughs> Bukele newspaper, <laughs> but. So you don't know what to read because this is a lie and this is only about Bukele. So I don't really, I, do you, do you read the news? Mm -hmm. How, how do you, how do you know what's going on? By video. By video. Nowadays, a yeah. lot of people, uh, nowadays, a lot of people do it through, um, for Facebook. Facebook, yes. Like what, for example, what is one hot video in YouTube from? Yeah, for example, what is one hot topic right now in the news in El Salvador? Miguel? Mr. Frank, a hot topic. Mm. Yes, what is a hot topic right now? What is topic? Mm, it's uh, the, the, the main, uh, uh, or the name of the, the, the new? Yes, TV? topic is el tema, right? Topic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what is the topic here. No, like because today. I don't, I, I, I don't read any new. Oh, you don't? So... There's no, okay, don't. okay, okay, good. Somebody who can tell me what is a hot topic right now. It doesn't have to be political. It could be um, sports, but news. It has to be news. Please don't say Piqué and Shakira. Mm -hmm. hmm. <laughs> sure, maybe it will be the the the, the construction of the new uh, stadium. The oh, okay. Star, the Demolition of the Escuela Militar. Really? That's where the stadium is going to be? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know that. I, I was wondering where the stadium was going to be. Yes, in the Escuela Militar is going to be. 
And what happened? What about the uh, military school? Is going to move to another place? Yes, they are going to move to other place, but the, they didn't say the president Bukele where is it going to be the the new uh, school militar. Oh, okay. Hey, but that's good because that that place is big. It's big. Hmm. In my opinion, yeah, El Salvador, we don't need another stadium, but yes, it's free. It was, it's a donation. So for me, in my opinion, that is stadium, like El Magico Gonzalez, that stadium should be a jail for all the Mareros. Mm -hmm. You know, and then, and then the new stadium should be the new Magico Gonzalez stadium. But in El Salvador, we don't need three big stadiums. We don't have good soccer. <laughs> so uh, that's a good topic right there, the, the new stadium. What else is in the news? This guy, a tennis player who won first place or? Yeah, Arevalo, right? Arevalo, uh -huh. This is a good news for us. That's very good news. Yeah, that's very good news. Um, he won the Grand Slam. Is is the first uh, the first Central American? Uh huh. Not just the first Salvadorian. You know? Yes. The first Central American. Yes. Have yeah. you ever played tennis? I played, but, but that, <laughs> that sport is very difficult. It's very demanding. Do you know what is demanding? It's exigente. It's demanding. Because really, it looks easy, but no, you have to run and swing. And then the next hit, it has to be on the other side. So it's, it's, it's a good sport. Okay, very good. So, Luis, uh, what else is in the news, Luis? What's in the news in the world? Okay, in my opinion, uh, the principal new for me is the Bitcoin. Uh, because uh, in El Salvador, for example, it's a, a principal social problem because uh, the actual government, he lost a lot of money. The government has lost a lot of money in, in the Bitcoin? Yeah. How much money? I don't know. I, I don't know uh, exactly the... No, but, but is the this... The number, because uh, do you know the last... Uh, the last... Uh, uh, buy that, that, that the government to, to, to got? Uh, I, I, I don't remember 50... Fifty million dollar, mm -hmm. no, uh, um, but he invests a lot of money, and uh, and the last. Uh, no, no, I know, I know. They they invest a lot of money. No, but my question is: Is this real? Like, is 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 this news is true or this is like Faro news or Prensa no, Gráfica it's, news? Oh, no, it's true. It's true. Where yes. where is that source? No, now, because I am I am very acceptable now when when I read about the news, because you know many people say um, some people say that the government made a lot of money, and I say, hmm, is that no, real news? No, why why not? Uh, do you know the uh, Mayan that that they would kill and need to to um, build a new city and the, La Union about the Bitcoin? Yeah, you, you, you can see in the, in the plan of the government and the internet and, okay. the, and the planification that, that we uh, invest, invest in the, the union. The investment. Investment in the, the, the La Union Department about okay. the new city, Bitcoin. No, I, I've sort of read about that. And I, and I read that he's receiving a lot of donations too. I think Elon Musk will donate a lot too. Like all the billionaires will donate. 
But that's interesting. Okay, good. But what is what about something? What is some news in the world? Like wow, this moment. Uh, teacher. Yes, Roxana. I I think it's the the poli political crisis uh, about the war, the Russia with Ukraine. I don't know. I don't know what, how to say Ukraine in English. Ukraine. Ukraine. Yes. Yeah, that's true too. It's true, because but you know, you, all the war. Yes, but you know, you know, for me, what is something strange about that war? That um, for me, it's strange because everybody we know there is a war in Ukraine, but we don't see videos. Like, <laughs> I mean, I don't understand what war are they like, angry or really there is a war that they are killing each other because I suddenly like it was a hot topic and then nobody talks about the war anymore but did the news mention about about they do yeah many people die many people are dying oh, okay but but in the news but i in don't the know news, yes. is this true or no you know my brother he sent me a picture today in california the gasoline the the gas is 11 dollars the gallon whoops Eleven dollars. He has a four-cylinder car, like he has a, a normal sedan, four cylinders, and he has to load his car full, full it up with a hundred and eleven dollars. It's expensive. Yeah, man. Can yeah. You imagine that? Too expensive. Yeah. Yes, it's, gasoline is a very big topic right now. All right, good. So those are source. That's the news. You know, where, where do you get your news from? And then there is like the um, show business, uh, entertainment news. What is the entertainment news in this moment? Oh, Shakira. Shakira. <laughs> <Epic>. <laughs> and yeah. Johnny Depp. Yeah. Yeah. And Amber heard, yes. Yeah. But you know, I told my wife when the Shakira and Piquet thing happened, I told her, look, I think something strange here. If you think Shakira hasn't made music like in 10 years, she disappeared and now she's back. Suddenly, de repente, suddenly she's back. And you know that now in the show business, controversy is very big. And I told my wife, all this is scandal, de puesto, I bet you she's taking out a new album or something. Maybe. And boom, cabal, ahí está su nuevo sencillo que está like number one right now. And, you know, so I don't know if it's true or not, if they separated or not with yeah. Piqué. You know, because right now everybody is pro Shakira. So I imagine everybody wants to speak with Shakira. <laughs> you know, um, I was I was talking to my brother and he told me there is this web page, tickets.com, I think. And he was telling me, look at the ticket prices in the United States. There's this like for example, Paul McCartney, you know Paul McCartney from the Beatles? Yes. His concert tickets, El Mabarato, the cheapest is like $350. Really? And from $350 to $7,000. My God. It's, it's incredible. I went to the webpage and then the webpage is pretty cool because you see like Artista de Gira, right? Boom, boom. And then it tells you the venue and you click on the seats and the seats, they tell you the price. So I saw Arjona, Arjona is in tour in the United States in this moment. I said, hmm, Arjona, okay. Arjona, man, his tickets for the front row, they are like $1,000, $2,000. Julieta Venegas, which is not very popular anymore, like $1,000. The most expensive. And so they are between two hundred and two thousand dollars. Wow. Really expensive. Yeah. 
But I, I heard a new about Alejandro Sanz. Um, mm -hmm. He uh, will give a, a concert and people wait for the concert for one, one week in front of the stereo or the place that he present his his show mm -hmm. and it's incredible i think to wait wow. for one that's, week that's crazy <laughs> yeah it's crazy do you remember a singer his name was jarabe de palo yeah really? i remember there was a sad story he died of cancer correct but yeah. um yeah he died he died i think two years ago in fact, there is the song I recommend you to listen. Se llama La Hora. It's a song that he, he wrote because he had cancer. And it went away and the cancer came back. And he wrote that song knowing that he was going to die. It's very... He said, ahora lo único que me toca esperar es que llegue la hora. You know, like, it's, it's a very strong song. But what I wanted to tell you is that the last, or I think one of the last concerts he did, he introduced a nurse in the hospital, the nurse that watched him. Te lo cuido. Nurse, primero. Yeah. And he said, I want to introduce a very special person. She was my nurse. She's excellent. And she should be a doctor. And I asked her, why aren't you a doctor? And she told me that she didn't have money for more to study medicine. So she could only study to be a nurse. And um, everybody clapped, you know, okay. And he told her, this concert, all the money on this concert goes to you. So you, really? can, so you can pay the medical bill. And yeah, he was saying, I'm going to die, but that's not your fault because it's not in your hands, but I know that you did everything possible for me and the world needs people like you. So I will give you that money. Man, it was nice. It's a very- I remember a song that says, uh, Ingrata. <laughs> no, no, that's not him. No, he, he sings no? La Flaca, Flaca. Um... Por un beso de la flaca. Um. All right. So, okay. Have um. So we were doing the present perfect tenses. Now I have a question. The famous "Have you ever"? What is "Have you ever"? Alguna vez. Yes. Now, here you need a little, a little imagination because. Okay, for example, Ivania, I remember she says she has a boyfriend for four years. Yes. I could ask her, have you ever gone on vacation with your, with your boyfriend? No. So, no, no, excuse me. but what I'm saying here is, have you ever, is something that from the past until now, right? So, obviously, obviously, I'm asking Ivania if she has gone on vacation with her boyfriend in the last four years. Yeah. Yes, because if Ivania says, yes, I have gone on vacation to Disneyland with my family. Yes, but that's not my question. I said, have you ever gone with your boyfriend on vacation? So what is that? Have you ever passed to present all the time you have been with your boyfriend? Yes. For example, Kalena, she told me that, that she lived in Europe. Have you ever visited the Van Gogh Museum? Or the Lavour? Have you ever visited the Lavour? Louvre. The, no, I'm sorry. No, no, pero, no, 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 not the Louvre. Hay otro. El, it sounds like Lavour. Lavour. No, not the Louvre. Lavour, Lavour. There's another museum, donde está la pintura Caravaggio. I visited many, many, many museums. Oh, okay, yeah. good. 
have you ever visited the um, Van Gogh's museum? Van Gogh. I think it's in Amsterdam or his house or his museum. Uh, I've been in Amsterdam and I, I visit Van Gogh museum. I don't remember really. Uh, what about Salvador Dalí's? In Barcelona. I don't know because I, 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 I don't know where his museum is. I know that there are paintings of Dali in many museums, but I think there is um there's a special museum for him in Sevilla, maybe? No. I have no I, idea. No, no, no. I don't remember. I, okay. I think Sevilla also. But... but have you ever seen the Mona Lisa? Yes. Mona Lisa is in Louvre. In the yeah, it's in the Louvre. How much is the to go in the Louvre? Teacher, I don't remember. No, because I I hear it's not very expensive. I, I, I hear you know when, when you are a student, you uh -huh. have a, a a better price. Oh we, okay. We we uh, cho show 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 sorry we show the our our ID, ID ID of the university mm -hmm. and many places you have the a lot of price yeah because i are. because i hear it's between 10 and 20 euros so it's not very very expensive wow okay good so have you ever so that's in that time let me see let me see let me see uh Marielos, where do you live? Have you ever eat rabbit? Yes, I do. I think I have eaten rabbit. <laughs> I think I have. Yeah, Marielos, where do you live? I live uh, near to the Parque Cuscatlán. Okay, have you ever eaten panes chorreados? No, I haven't. <laughs> okay. Oh, man, that's why, that's why Parque Cuscatlán. Um, or panesticos. No. Have you ever eaten no. panesticos? Oh. No. <laughs> oh, my God, Marielos. Why? You because live like... I'm barely here. I'm always working. <laughs> you live in your job, yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ivania, where do you live? I live in Mexicanos. In Mexicanos. Have you ever eaten in Sopon Sacamil? No, I haven't. Oh, my God. You people don't go out. Oh, my God. No, Where no. do you live? Oh, Anuri, you live in, in um, Lourdes, right? Lourdes, yes. I don't, I don't really know Lourdes. So. Luis, where do you live? <laughs> Um, on the main street, uh, Bernal. In La Bernal, oh, okay. Have you ever eaten in Palios Chinos? Yes, yes. One more time only. One time only. Yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have. Okay, they're very good. I, that's my favorite Chinese restaurant. Yeah. Marvin, where do you live? Uh, I live in Santa Ana, teacher. Oh, yes, yeah, Santa Ana. Have you ever gone to La Tertulia? I don't know if it still exists. No, teacher. It doesn't exist anymore. Oh, it doesn't exist anymore? Oh. Yeah. Are you, it was like a bar, correct? Yes, it was a bar. Uh, yeah. Today is called uh, the Mexicanos. Oh, okay. But Mexican I like... Oh, Mexican okay. Food. I used to like that bar in La Tertulia. It was very relaxing. It was like to drink a, a beer or coffee or anything. Yeah. I, li I lived in San Miguel, in Santa Ana many, many years ago. I lived maybe three months in Santa Ana. And um, I remember it was very, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I remember it was very boring because I don't know, I don't know if it's still the same. I love Santa Ana though. It was so beautiful. But the problem was that I was a teacher there and we finished class at seven at night. 
So at that time, we went out to eat dinner. But everything was closed. Everything. You know, and, and Wednesday, Thursday, you know, Friday, maybe things were open until nine. And La Tertulia was the only place that opened maybe hasta la nueve. Like. Yeah. It, it, it has changed a lot because there are a lot of places to eat even uh, uh, later at night. Oh, that's good because in that yeah. time, in that time, it was, everything was closed and dark. Yeah. Like everybody was asleep. Like, oh my God, it's dark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember, yeah. Nice. I like Santana. It was cool. All right, Oscar, where do you live? I live in Soyapango. Soya Bronx. Yes. Have you ever <laughs> been to, to La Campanera? No, I haven't. <laughs> you haven't? Uh, only for bad things, uh, Soyapango. <laughs> no, no, actually, no, but you know what? I've been to Soyapango and there are some nice. I mean, there are some yes. places that look cool, but I would never live in Soyapango, though. Not because yeah. it's dangerous. The traffic is is ridiculous. Mm, yes. It's, a little oh, bit. Oh, my God. That boulevard. It's a lot, it's, it's a lot of traffic. It, there is a, I don't know, I think there is a short uh, street because it's only from the Molsa to, uh, to Plaza Mundo. But the traffic is heavy. It is. Part. Yes. Yes. Sorry about that. Sometimes I am driving. I am driving and listening to the radio at six in the morning, and people say, "El boulevard colapsado, topado," like every morning. Yes. <laughs> at six <laughs> in the morning. It's happening every day. <laughs> in in Lourdes too, I hear that people are coming from Los Chorros. Traffic, traffic. Yes, yes teacher, it's true. But in your case, it's good because you live in Lourdes and you work in Lourdes, correct? Yes. 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 Yeah. And Oscar, oh, I remember, Oscar, you work in San, in Soyapango and you and you live in Soyapango, right? No, I work in Ilopango. Oh, in Ilopango. But it's yes, not. But it's, it's almost the same. No, but that's good. You don't see traffic then because. Yes, no, I don't. I don't suffer the traffic because from my house to the, uh, to, the to my work is. 15 minutes in the morning and the traffic is is uh is coming all right cool yes nice so i don't suffer what about you kalina where do you live nearby redondel Ferrer. okay one thing you said two prepositions you said near and by only say one you can't have two prepositions together so i say i live near redondel Ferrer or i i live by I live near Redondel Ferrer. Good. Have you ever eaten dos tamales cañas? De las cañas. Tamales cañas, I think. Yes, the super selectos they sell. No, I, there is a place um by this plaza Barcelona or something that. There's a stand that they sell tamales cañas. Ah, uh, you know, you know where in Azaleas. Oh, okay, maybe there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think it's there. It's a little. Yes, it's a little stand. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. I went, but I, I will never buy those tamales again. We bought tamales del canasto. Del... From the corner. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, those are the best. Uh, they are really good. They are really good. You know, one time, Three never. For one dollar. Okay, then never, never buy tamales cañas. Let me tell you why, because they say especiales, que no se que, whatever. How much are they? The big ones, 125, and the small ones, 75 cents. So when you think big, it's like you think like a super special. No, but the big one is a normal. Tamal. And the 75 cents, I promise you, is the size of my finger. It's 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 very small. It's like como una muestra. Like you know when you go to the super selectos, 
would you like to eat tamales? Que le dan muestras. That's, that's how, oh my God, 75 cents for this. <laughs> I will never buy those again, but they're good. They're okay, but they're good. Okay, so that's have you ever, have you ever, have you ever. All right. No, no, no. Okay, so do you have any questions using have you ever? Teacher. Yes, Nuri. Have you ever eat, um, eaten insect? Eaten insect? Yes, I have eaten insects. I have eaten worms. In the tequila? Ah, uh, gusano. Yeah, the. I have eaten that. I have I eaten tried, capulines. I tried in Mexico uh, grillos. Yeah. Are, um, yeah, but I, but I, I didn't like them. I didn't like them. Those are no, chapulines. Chapulines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we you know, them, we, oh. are, we are in El Salvador, so maybe I must have eaten cockroaches or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you never nice. you never know. Listen, my father, my father li listen to this, and this is an advice because I saw this with my eyes. My father lives in Los Planes, like the road to Los Planes, like kilometer five. So one day his wife asked me, David, can you please take me to El Molino, to the mill? Because she was going to make, I don't know what, tamales or something for, and she asked me if I could take her to El Molino. There's a little, Molino says it's a mill. There's a mill. So yeah, I took her. Yeah. I promise you this. I saw a pickup come and the pickup had a barrel Barril? Mm -hmm. full of tomatoes, but rotten, like black tomatoes. Like maybe that it was like, give me $1 for all this in La Tiendona, you know, mm -hmm. like bad tomatoes. Do you know that the people, they were getting the tomatoes from the barrel, al, al molino, sir, with no wash, nothing like that. And of course, those people sell pupusas in Los Planes. Can you imagine that tomato sauce? You make it. Really, I was like. <laughs> Oh my God. And my, my father's wife, she told me, stop looking. And I said, oh my God, look. So, look at that. They're putting tomato. Oh. After that, I, I have started eating pupusas alone. <laughs> like Without. With no tomato. Without tomato. Without tomato. <laughs> All right, thank you for the question, Nuri. Have you ever? So yes, I have eaten insects. Does anyone else have a question? Have you ever? Oh, um, Kalena, have you ever eaten or bought bread, sweet bread in La Lucerna Suiza bakery? Kalena? I know La Lucerna is in El Pasado General Escalón. Yeah. Have you ever gone there? Yes. Oh, man. I, I, bought, I bought the palitos. The sticks? Yeah. Uh -huh. The pan. Oh, okay. Bread, the bread, 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 stick. bread sticks, yes. Bread sticks. Those are delicious. And, and I. No, I like, I, I like the balls with Nutella. No, sir. Oh man, those are good. Bolas, bolas, I don't know, something. But say bolas with Nutella and they understand. It's good. <laughs> oh man, now I'm hungry. Yeah, <laughs> All right. So does anyone else have any questions with have you ever? No, teacher. 
Yes. Okay. In this case, I ask Elena, have you ever eaten in, in, in that place? Because we're obviously, we're talking about Escalon. That's where she lives. Yes. So let's see the next page. By the end of this class, participants will practice using adverbs with simple past and past perfect. First of all, what is an adverb before we go to the video? Do you know what is an adverb? Yes, it's a modifier of adjectives or verb. Okay, can you give me uh, give me give me one adverb? Uh, quickly. Quickly, okay. Fast. Fast. Mm, fast is not an adverb. But you have you have the idea. Listen to this. Listen to this. My brother drives slow or my brother drives slowly? Slowly. Why? What is the difference between slow and slowly? Slowly is an adverb. Why is it an adverb? And modify the, the manner of your brother drive. Okay. Let's do one thing. What is an adjective, class? Modify a noun. Modifies. Okay, let's do it easier. An adjective describes a noun. Or describe. Yes? Yeah. Okay, okay class. Everybody, we are in sync. An adjective describes a noun. Yes? Marvin, Mirna, Marielos, Luis, yes. Miguel, Nuri, Sana. Okay, so, all right, thank you. So an adjective describes a noun. So an adverb describes a verb. So let me give you my brother's example again. If my brother is a person who's very lento, so I say my brother is slow. Yes, the, what is the adjective? Slow because slow is describing my brother. But now if I want to describe, not my brother, I want to describe my brother's driving, drive is a verb. So I say my brother drives slowly, like Roxana said. My brother drives slowly. You see, slowly is describing, not my brother, is describing the way he drives. Yes, le voy a dar un tip. Todos los que terminen en only, li, li, como, uh, like you, uh, Roxana, usted dijo fast, it's not, fast is an adjective. El adverb sería fastly. O quien fue que me dijo fast? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you, Roxana. Yeah, fast is an adjective. The adverb would be fastly. Y se oye raro porque casi no se usa, pero it's correct. Yes, slow, slowly. Todo lo que termina en li es entamente. Entamente. Can you tell me a word in Spanish that ends in entamente? Yeah. Give me an example. In Spanish, oh. que algo que termina en entamente. Mm -hmm. Rápidamente. Aparente, aparentemente. Apparently. Lentamente. Slowly. Rápidamente. Fastly. Ahí está. Termina en li. 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 In Spanish, entamente. Igual en español. Está describiendo el verbo, no la persona. Okay, so that is an adverb. An adverb describes a verb, the adjective describes a person. So here is uh, here's one, one thing I want to explain to you. Good, good is an adjective or is an adverb? It's an adjective. It's an adjective. What is the adverb for good? Well. It's well. So for example, my mother cooks well. Yeah. 
It's not, but many people say my mother cooks good. Yes, you will understand, but grammatically it's not correct. It's my mother cooks well, or she is a good cook. Okay, so let's see the video. Do you have any questions right now? The difference between an adjective and an adverb class? No. No questions? Okay, awesome. Let's see the video. So adverbs with simple past and past perfect. Hmm. Hello, this time we'll look at words like later, <clears throat> the next day, up until then, among others. These words are used either with simple past or past perfect. Adverbs with a simple past and past perfect. Use these adverbs with a simple past to describe something that happens at a later time. Afterwards, later, the next day, we laughed about it. Use these adverbs with a simple past to describe two things that happened at the same time. When, as soon as, the moment I got to work, my boss asked to speak to me. Use these adverbs with the past perfect to describe something that was true or that happened before another event in the past. Up until then, before that, until that time, I had never lost anything important. This is a pretty straightforward topic, but we're studying our adverbs of time, which help to clarify when an event or situation in the past took place in relation to another event or situation. If I say to you, I was embarrassed because I called the teacher mom, afterward we all laughed about it. Which action happened first? That's right, I called the teacher mom. What if I say the moment I got in the shower the telephone rang? Again, which action happened first? Perfect. They happened at the same time. And finally, if I say, Anne went to Japan last year. Before that, she had only traveled to Florida. Which place did Anne go to first? Florida, right? So if you notice, the adverbs help us to understand the order of events. Okay, one thing that um, okay, that one thing. This is this was not very very specific, but this was actually adverbs of time. So, for example, afterwards, later, the next day. Those are adverbs, yes, but of time. They describe time. Okay. Um, Kalena, your, your husband now, he proposed to you in the Eiffel Tower. What did you do afterwards? Mm. Champagne? <laughs> no, 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 not really. We're traveling in group. We are a lot of friends with us. And I don't remember, maybe we walk for a while. Okay, okay. And then we go back to the hotel. Okay, good. So he proposed to me, okay, good. And afterwards we went back to the hotel, good. Or, you know, he proposed to me and afterwards we celebrated. He proposed to me and uh, afterwards, we took a trip, we took a plane to, yeah? But that's the, that's the example of afterwards. An action happened in the past and what happened after that action? Okay. Um, okay. After that, we work, we work for a while. Okay, good. When he proposed, he proposed to me and afterwards we walked for a while proposed me and after after that we walk for a while okay good he proposed to me proposed to pass me. and pass perfect something that pass and pass perfect. good that's afterwards afterwards and later is the same
The only the only difference is that afterwards is like more immediately after that action. Later, we well, see though later that day, later at night, we we had a romantic dinner or something. But afterwards and later is the same. Let me see. Oscar, do you have children? No, I don't. Are you married? Uh, no, I'm really not only girlfriend. Okay. Remember when you ask your girlfriend to be your girlfriend? Yes, I remember. What did you do afterwards when she said yes? <laughs> well, afterwards or later, uh, I asked her for uh, be my girlfriend. No, no, uh, no, no, but remember that part already passed. So you tell me when I asked her to be my girlfriend afterwards or later, mm -hmm. we. Mm -hmm. Oh, later, um, she cried. <laughs> She cried. Yes, I don't know why. <laughs> okay, she cried of happiness. I hope. I think. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's crazy. All right. Cool. Nice. Uh, Nuri, you have two children, correct? Hello, Nuri. Yes, teacher. Okay, you have two children, correct? Four. Four, oh yeah, oh my God. Do you remember your first baby, your first baby? Do you remember the first time you were pregnant? Yes. What did you do afterwards when you discovered, oh, I'm pregnant? <laughs> um, afterwards, um, I said, I told uh, my mom. And what did she do afterwards? Uh, she was happy about that. Okay, good. All right, good. Ivania. Yes. Ivania, what imagine, okay? I don't know if it happened or not, but imagine it happened. What did you do afterwards when your boyfriend forgot your anniversary? Um, afterward, I will, um, I will be angry. I was angry. Remember, everything happened in the past. Ah, okay. I was angry. All right, good. Miguel, are you married? Yes, teacher. What did you do after you proposed to your wife? When I proposed to marry to my wife, afterwards, we were choosing the the wedding ring. Really? Immediately? Like you want to marry me? She said yes, and you want to buy their wedding rings? Yeah, because he, she was very urgently to marry me with me. Where did you propose to her? In front of the jewelry shop? Uh, kind of. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she really wanted to marry you. Yes. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Mirna, hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, good. I think we understand afterwards and later. Yes. Uh, when you had your first baby, what did you do the next day? I was... Later, I was... Um, uh, a little sad because uh, I was pregnant when I was studying. No, no, no. When you had the first baby, you have two babies or one? Yes. 
too. Yes. Okay, do you remember when you had when you tuvo, your first baby? Yes. What did you do the next day? I was so happy to know uh, a little person part of me. Okay. Nice. Very good. Marielos. Yes, teacher. What did you do afterwards, yesterday, after class? <laughs> I tried to finish the platform. Afterwards. Afterwards. Mm -hmm. All right, cool, nice. All right, Luis, what do you do um, in the morning after you take a shower? Um, after I take a shower, I prepare uh, my coffee cup. You prefer your coffee cup or your coffee? A coffee, and then a coffee. Cup. Yeah, this okay. is the, the first step. Okay, do you eat breakfast? Uh, yes, of course. Okay, good. No... Okay. Good. Another example for using afterwards is to give plans. Like, okay, class, this is the plan. Saturday, the meeting is at 10 p.m. at 10 in the morning. Afterwards, we will have a short breakfast. Later, this meeting part two, from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Afterwards, we will have a cocktail. Do you see how I'm saying afterwards and later? You know, Teacher, I, yes. sorry, I have a question. You were using sometimes you, you you use after and sometimes you use afterwards. What's the difference? No, uh, afterwards, afterwards, and after is is the same. But the the thing is that afterwards is immediately after that action. Okay. okay. Like, for example, Oscar, he said when he asked his girlfriend to be his girlfriend, afterwards she cried. Mm -hmm. Immediately. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. cried. Entonces, we understand that it was in that time, in that, in that, in ese scenario. Mm -hmm. When he asked her, afterwards she cried. Now, mm -hmm. if he said, I asked her to marry, I asked her to be my girlfriend, and later she cried, that later could be that night or the next day. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. That later is not very specific, but afterwards yeah. is more immediate. Okay. I understand. Thank like, you. You're welcome. Like Elena, she said that she was with a group of, of tourists mm -hmm. when her husband proposed to her. So afterwards they continued with the with the trip. And maybe they celebrated later, I imagine. Yes, they celebrated like maybe with a romantic dinner or champagne or, yes? We're always celebrating. We're always celebrating, okay, good. That's later, uh -huh. but afterwards is more immediate, okay? Okay, do you understand? Yes, teacher, but, it, but it's, um, the difference is a little bit because when you talk about the daily routine, you use after that or immediately you do you made a, make a, a do an action. For example, I wake up after that, I take a shower and then Mm -hmm. But it's immediately too. But know. but remember, there those are called synonyms. Okay. There are many words that express even in Spanish. There are many words that are the same. How, for example, when you say after or then? Then, uh huh. Then it's like say okay, yes, okay. The the party is at 
I'm sorry, the, the meeting starts at 10 in the morning, then we will have a breakfast. The meeting starts at 10 in the morning. Afterwards, we will have a breakfast. Then and afterwards are synonyms. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was a good question though. Synonyms. All right. Okay, class, then um, I will see you tomorrow. We will do some exercise tomorrow. I will break you in rooms so you can practice with each other, okay? Okay, teacher. Thanks. Have a, have a great day, a great rest of the day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye.